Welcome to the homework for lesson two. This is module eight of second grade. Name on here first, please. Count the number of sides and angles for each shape to identify each polygon. The polygon names in the word bank may be used more than once. So I'm just going to write this down as a key. It will help you out. Uh, if you have trouble remembering these, and and uh, you might, hexagons have six sides and angles, quadrilaterals have four, triangles have three, and pentagons have five. So we're going to write the names on the blanks. So this has one, two, three, four. That makes it a quadrilateral. important to get the spelling of these right um, these names of shapes are uh, they're not things they're not words that you read every day so you're not going to practice reading them a lot and you won't recognize them always so this is something actually writing them out and paying attention to the spelling is something that will really help you be able to read these and recognize them when you see them in print and you're gonna see them in print in math but you won't see them a lot in other places but they're important to know and be able to recognize. You can't just look at the first letter and say H, oh, that means it's a hexagon, or Q, that means it's a quadrilateral, or C, a T, and a T, R, uh, a triangle. You, you have to, this really helps you to learn how to spell them and how to recognize them when you have to read them. So this is a three, one, two, three. This is a triangle, very important. Get the spelling correct. One, two, three, four, that's a quadrilateral. Some of these shapes, especially the quadrilaterals, have their own special names. We're not worrying about that for right now. We're just counting sides or angles to tell us this one's a pentagon because it has five. This one is one, two, three, four, five. So it's also a pentagon. Also, like one of the other big ideas in this homework assignment is that you can be a pentagon and you can look very different as long as you have five sides and five angles. That's all it takes. And it has to be flat and closed with all straight sides. So one, two, three, four, five, six hexagon and my a looks kind of like a nine there so I'm going to clean that up and my next one here one two three four that's a quadrilateral one two three four there's another quadrilateral One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a hexagon. We think of this, when we see this hexagon, if you like uh, the pattern blocks that we a lot of times you see in school, they're the yellow ones. And uh, that's usually what most people think of as a hexagon, but it doesn't have to look like that to be a hexagon, right? Because this is a hexagon too. All it has to have is six straight sides and be flat and closed. One, two, three, four. That's a quadrilateral. One, two, three, four, five. That's a pentagon. Usually we would think of this one, something that looks like a house or something that looks like that as a pentagon. But all it needs is five straight sides. And all of these are called polygons. Flat closed shape with all straight sides. That's a polygon. One, two, three, triangle. Let's 
draw more sides to complete two examples of each polygon. So here's what we're looking for. For we want to make these into quadrilaterals. Don't have to circle that or underline that. Just do that to show you what I'm talking about. For each example, I'm going to have to, there's, there's two lines already. Quadrilaterals have four total sides, so I'm going to have to add two straight sides. There. Pentagon, I'm going to have to, pentagons have five total sides, and I have two already, so I'm going to need three more. So one, two, three, and one, two, three. Triangles have to have three total sides. So if I have two already, I need one more to make it a triangle. There and there. Some of these have, uh, there's a lot of different ways that you can draw more lines for quadrilaterals. So they don't have to look exactly like mine. For the pentagons, they don't have to look exactly like mine, but for the triangles, there's only one way to do that. You need one more line, and there's only one place you can draw it. Hexagon, for example. There's two hexagons have to have six total sides, and each one of these has two, so I need to add four more lines to each one. One, two, three, four. This one's going to be kind of tricky. One two, three, four. Explain why both polygons A and B are pentagons. Well, what does it have to be to be a pentagon? It has to be a polygon with five sides or five angles, right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So I could say both have five angles or both have five straight sides. Now if we really want to be careful about it, both are flat, closed shapes with five straight sides. Really, you just have to say they both have five sides or they both have five angles. And that would, pro that would probably be plenty. Um, explain why both polygons C and D are triangles. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now it says right here, okay, they t it's given to you that they're polygons. So you really don't have to say that they're flat and closed and the sides are straight because that's all polygons have to have that. So it's given to you that they're polygons. So you really don't have to write that. And so I'm just going to say they both have three angles.